Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I talked about the Samsung Goodlock app back when it was first leaked before it was actually official, but it is official now. So I want to do a revisited video and talk about it because some things have changed and also a lot of updates have came to it. It's a lot more stable. Battery life is not affected at all either. And just overall, it's great that Samsung has been putting a lot of support into it, giving uh, listening to user feedback as well. And in my opinion, I really hope it goes in the direction of you can really completely change every part of the user interface and even potentially just get rid of all the touch with features and just jump back to completely stock Android on Samsung's great hardware. I have the GoodLock app installed on my Galaxy S7 at the moment. However, you can install it on pretty much any device, Samsung device running Marshmallow and above, including my Galaxy S7, maybe a Galaxy S6, Note 5 etc. I will link to the app in the description if you're interested in trying it out, which I recommend doing. You can always try it out and you can always easily uninstall it. So with the GoodLock app, you have a lot of customizations, including that pull down bar got completely revamped. As you can see, you have some very small icons up at the top that are your quick, pan, uh, your quick widgets. And then if you swipe down again, it just completely gets rid of them and goes into this entirely different menu right here, which is just still brightness and all your quick toggles, just not in this mini form. So if we go to this icon right up here, it brings you into the good lock settings where you can uninstall it real quick. Uh, you go to advanced where you can enable a new recents panel. I'll talk about that in a second. You can adjust the order of those quick panels that I'm talking about. And then a lot of different functions that you can enable and disable if you want app tray in the recents panel. Uh, if you want the dim background and the status bar, just very, uh, very intricate customizations that you can make and you're gonna have to play around with them to kind of figure out what they mean. The lock screen gets customized as well to show that off. Let's jump into it right away. And here it is. So you see you have some apps down at the bottom, some quick shortcuts you can swipe up and edit and customize what apps are down at the bottom there. If you swipe down on this, it brings up that notification tray that uh, looks very familiar. And also you'll see there's a keep option and an all option. So for example, if I swipe to the right, it drops it into that keep tray. So you'll see keep, there is that notification that I just have. And also one of my favorite features is that pressing and holding on notifications, you can have it alert you after 10 minutes, 30 minutes and an hour. So that's a super convenient feature. I don't know why they don't just put that into their stock uh, touch was in general because I use that all the time now There's a bunch of effects with the wallpaper and colored clock as well And now you also can theme if you don't like this purple theme to it You just go to def and under routines default you can customize what your clock's gonna look like So let's go to next and base color as well. So you'll see if you really want to customize Very specific things. Uh, let's say you want to go maybe into a more dark looking theme so let's go to this and all you have to do is press and hold on one of these icons and you can really customize around what your derived colors are in terms of that made major base color and then you can move it around let's go ahead and hit next you can have your layout if you want widgets up top notifications and app, tra app trays you can uncheck them or recheck them widgets you can add specific ones up at the top uh, it's going to go through your entire widget list and you can customize which ones show up on your lock screen um, and I'm just going to hit save and finish settings complete. I'm going to hit OK and there it goes. Check out that color change. It just did it in a really neat animation to be honest, just an added thing. But there you go, completely customized. So if you really don't like that purple, you can now finally change that specific color. Just all of it gets customized. So overall, a really neat app, the Samsung Good Lock app. There's a lot more that you could do as well in these routines where you can name one. I'm gonna hit next, you can set your location. I'm gonna say everywhere, a uh, clock. You can choose the time that it starts and ends. Um, and then you can change the quick settings. So for a specific period of time, if you want Wi-Fi to be off, maybe if you're at work, uh, Bluetooth to be on maybe while you're driving to work, et cetera, you can customize that completely. And then finally, that recent apps got customized as well. I showed this off in my previous video. Yeah, there's a remove ball button. You can go back to the revert to the previous recent apps if you want to as well. Uh, you have a multi window button right there, which jumps into it quickly. You have an X to get rid of it. So if I press X there, it disappeared right away. You can swipe them away as well. I'm um, just scrolling through. It's very simplified. It's not just those boxes, those square boxes. And you can choose if you want these apps down here or not. Um, and of course you can edit it and customize which ones are there. So that would be the Samsung Good Luck app got updated and continually, continuously gets updated, excuse me. 
So once again, I'll link to that in the description. Definitely check it out if you have a Samsung device running Marshmallow or above. And that would be it. So that's Samsung Good Luck Revisited. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.